This video demonstrates how to set up roles in Primavera P6. Before we set up the role, let's have a definition. A role is a job title or skill. For example, engineer, project manager, systems analyst, or carpenter. Roles are assigned to resources to identify the resource's skills and core competency. Roles can act as placeholders until specific resources are assigned to activities. Roles can also help project managers and resource managers identify appropriate resources for specific activities. Additionally, roles can provide cost estimates and de help determine preliminary budget requirements during the project planning phase. Roles are considered enterprise data, which means that they can be used across all projects in your database. Since they're enterprise data, they are set up from the Enterprise menu in P6. So when I click on the Enterprise menu, I can scroll down and select Roles when I want to set up a new role. I'm going to set up an environmental engineer. I'm going to assign that engineer under the node on my role hierarchy called Construction Engineers. So if I highlight the node or the parent on that hierarchy and right-click and add, you'll notice that it adds that new role as a sibling to the element that I created the role from. Not to worry, I can come over to my command bar and use my indent and outdent buttons to correct that in the hierarchy. So I'm going to click the right button so that it is now a child to the construction engineering node. I'll now come down to the tabs at the bottom, which are the details related to the new role. On the General tab, I'll put the role ID. I'm going to select EN for Environmental Engineer. Beneath those items, you can see there's a text box where I can type in a job description or a description of the responsibilities associated with that role. Notice the text formatting capabilities on the toolbar above that text box. My next step is to go to the Resources tab. And on the Resources tab, I can identify those resources who can fill this role, in this case, Environmental Engineer. I'm going to come down to the bottom left and click Assign. And then I will scroll or search for the person that I would like to fill this role. Ted Miller is an engineer and he can fill this role. When you assign a resource to the role, one of the things you can do is to identify the proficiency of that person when they are filling that role. So for Ted Miller, I'm going to indicate that he is an expert when he performs the role of environmental engineer. I can also identify by checking the box to denote that this is that organization, that this is that person's primary role in my organization. If I indicate that this is his primary role, that will be taken into consideration when we talk about role limits. When I go to the Prices tab, I can identify the price per unit for that role when he's working on a particular rate type. So for example, if I'm working on a project with a commercial rate type and I am assigning the role of environmental engineer, that role will be assigned at a rate of $60 per hour, whereas if if the role is assigned to a project using GSA right, rates, it may be $50 an hour. When I go to the Limits tab, I'm able to identify the maximum uh, available units for this role. It's based on the effective date. If I click Add, I can then identify the maximum units per time that that role is available to fill activities. In other words, it's very useful in role profiles to help determine the capacity you have to fill this role. There are two ways to assign the maximum units per time. The first way is that Primavera will go to the Resource tab and review all of the resources that you've assigned to that role. For those for whom it is their primary role, it will take their maximum available units and accumulate them to arrive at the maximum units per time for that role. A second way to assign maximum units per time is to use a custom role limit. 
If you use a custom roll limit, then you can type in the maximum units per time. If I close the roll window and go to Edit User Preferences, and I look at the Resource Analysis tab at the bottom, I can identify my preferred method as a user of displaying the roll limit. So the roll limit can be displayed based on a custom roll limit or on the calculated primary resources limit. Again, this is a user preference. I'm going to close user preferences. So to recap, I go to the enterprise menu to roles to set up a new role. And when I'm, once the role is set up, I'm able then to review the details, the general tab, where I can view the ID, the name, and a job description. The resources tab, where I can assign resources to fill the role and identify for whom, for which resources this is their primary role. I can identify the price per unit and the limits, which enable me to evaluate the capacity I have to fill that role. Hope this helps. Thank you very much.